up in Teslin, Yukon, and this is our last charge off the grid because it's completely hydropower for the next maybe 900 kilometers I think so we're gonna camp up for a bunch of hours and fill our tanks up. So Jose has been uh, trying to convince us for a few weeks now that he's not a sparky and yet Every single time we rock up to a place, he twiddles his thumbs and his fingers, takes apart the breaker box, and makes our van move. <laughs> Magic. A few hours later. <laughs> I usually shake a little bit in my boots because there's a lot of electricity just sitting there. If you don't take risks, you don't get the rewards. I like taking risks. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's also, fine. that breakfast that Key can cook smells fucking good. I think Canada's just different to the USA. Like the way that they wire, because they're using red, red and black. <laughs> Charles has done it again. <laughs> he has you? been. <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> I just got his power so we can move forwards in a forwardly direction. Do you know what that means? It means it's breakfast time. It's brekkie time. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing some radmin in the sun. And uh, the night's coming. And the nights are really cold. And I don't like the nights anymore. While fires burn through my lungs This is when Chelsea gets electrocuted Oh no, he survived another day Yay! Chelsea, guess what? You didn't die! I want to electrocute myself! <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was thinking. Sock home Rusty Can I get in now? What? Yeah, you can come in. Come in? So, Bruz Town, in the co pilot seat. That's me. That guy decided that he'd go on a uh, expedition on his bicycle letter and decided that it's time to uh, leave his bike at the fucking last RV park. <laughs> so we've got a beeline it back there, charge again, lose a day, and head out of this world again. I fucked up. <laughs> you done fucked up, boy? You done fucked up. No one needs a bike for a bike trip though, huh? We just got back. And look what we found. There's a bit of a bikey boy over there. We started screaming in a hotel room. The evils of Lucy was all around me. So I went running, looking for answers. So after two days, stuck in Tesla, bit of a bit of a fuck around we had. We're finally leaving. We're finally making it towards Rancheria. Onwards! And unfortunately, we have to bail on uh, Mr. Mr. Ledgeosk halfway through. <laughs> He's still here though. <laughs> hey, mate! Are you leaving us today? Unfortunately, but look who we got. We 
He, he remembered his bike this time. <laughs> you're almost there, you're going up to Dead Horse? Or? No, I don't think so. Uh, oh, it's too cold now, it's snowing. So it's yeah. cold up there. <laughs> I can't tell you how excited I am. Yeah. <laughs> So there's like a, a canyon, it's nothing special, it's not big at all, it's with the tiny little creek, it's nothing like we haven't seen all throughout the Yukon, and they've dammed it up, apparently the dam's quite small and it's nothing big either. They have one pipe that allows water to flow into it, and then have a hydrofoil in that pipe which obviously gets hit by the water and spins, up to a few differentials which change the direction of the, the, the rotation. That then drives a belt which drives a uh, an alternator thing. I don't know what they call it, a generator, I guess. A generator alternator, which then produces energy. Um, he said he can produce 90 kilowatts of energy at any given time. And for about, I just did some quick math, so it's probably not super correct, but two, 200 megawatts of energy a day? I'll do the math later. It was, it was a lot of energy. Could power a small town, way bigger than this place, and then whatever they don't use, they dump, they send it back through the system into a few capacitors, which then fill up and then dump energy constantly. They're using, what, well, they were using 20% of the energy right now, so they were dumping 80% of the energy right now. But usually he's wasted 65%, he was saying. Yeah, on average, they waste about 65% of the energy. Just insane. This is a tiny little thing, you wouldn't even look twice at it, on the side of the road, and it, and it produces all of that energy. Like, that is charging our van. It's charging our van right now. Absolutely cool. <laughs> Ain't that right, Taze? Hey, hey. <laughs> only the whole world could do that. If only. <clears throat> Soon. Or everything, like wind, it's untapped. Yeah. Everything. The thing that got me is 24 hour. 24 hours, doesn't Especially end. Especially up in here. Like. Uh, this is what I envision, I mean, the future of Elect energy should be this. I mean, this is not. It's, how old is this? Twenty years. Twenty years. Say, twenty yeah. plus. I'd say twenty plus. Yeah. Huh? It's small. It's tiny. Yeah. But it really puts out the energy. So it really puts out the energy. This. And uh, once it's set up, it costs nothing to operate. Nothing, yeah. Just let it run. Well, there you go. <laughs> That's how it works. That's how it works. <laughs> <laughs> <a> micro <laughs> hydro electric electricity project. Mm -hmm. That's it. Yeah. That's amazing. Benji Marshall's, Marshall's leaving the nest. I'm, uh, I'm in my tights again. He's off to find greener pastures. It's cold. It's gonna be snowy pastures, not green pastures. And we'll see you again, eh? Yeah, definitely. For sure. Ciao, Bruzzy. Oh. We'll see you again. Yeah, definitely. In a couple of weeks, couple of months, done, eh? Boom! I wish you all of the downhills and sun Possible. And the same to you, man. <laughs> I mean, I, I like need it emotionally, but you guys literally require it. <laughs> so. We both need it. Yeah. And we both shall get it. <laughs> yeah, get it. Well, if I find an open sky, I'll steer by the stars. Cause only. Your perfect stone could be the death of me. Yes. We got about five centimeters last night. Ideal weather right now. Last